Okay, this video is gonna cover when and how to use a series LLC. Um, our first slide here, this lays out all of the different types of assets that can be held and managed using a series LLC. Um, <clears throat> we actually do not recommend using a series for anything other than rental properties. Um, but it is possible to hold title, or I'm sorry, to use a series LLC for real estate holdings, syndication, stocks and brokerage accounts, vehicles, um, anything else that you want to include as a, as a separate asset or you want to keep it separate from um, other businesses or streams of cash flow that you might have. So a key, I'm going to go through the key components of like what a series looks like, how it's structured and how it functions. Um, so first you start with a parent LLC. So that is, you also hear it called a master LLC or the hub, like the, the main overarching umbrella. So the analogy here would be um, a holding company. The only difference is uh, this is not necessarily a holding company that oversees or has subsidiary companies underneath of it. Um, in this context, it is a parent company that oversees assets. And those assets are not technically separate businesses. They are segmented within the same business. And so that's what a series is. The parent company oversees the children or also identified as the series. And that allows you to have that compartmentalization and segmentation of assets and revenue. So as I mentioned, compartmentalization is one of the main features um, that you want to have, especially when you have multiple businesses. Another is anonymity. Um, we like to use four. There's, so there's four different states that offer um, a series LLC that also offer anonymity. There's, I think, 20 total states that recognize a series, but there's only four that also provide anonymity. Those are the state of Texas, Nevada, Wyoming, and Delaware. We typically use uh, Wyoming and Delaware, and those provide an anonymity protection in the sense that you don't have to put any ownership information into the Secretary of State website. Um, I'll go into some more detail on that. Another thing that they offer is, is tax flexibility as well. Um, no tax advice here. That's more a question for a CPA, but um, uh, definitely opportunities for some tax flexibility um, when using a series. So as far as compartmentalization and segmentation goes, um, one of the main reasons that people like to have individual LLCs for rental properties is if you, let's say you have 10 rental properties and there's an issue with one or an issue with the tenant in number one, uh, you don't want to expose two through 10 to the fault of property number one. So by using separate LLCs, that allows you to separate the revenue and separate the operations to protect each individual property. So when one thing goes bad with one, it doesn't affect the other 10. Well, with a series LLC, it, that accomplishes the same goal, but you only, instead of filing 10 separate LLCs with 10 separate filing sets of filing fees, 10 sets of registered agent fees, 10 sets of annual reporting fees, you can organize and accomplish the same, the same goal using one LLC. One set of books, one set of bookkeeping and accounting, it's much easier to manage and it's much more cost effective. Now, speaking to the anonymity part, um, we like to use a, either a nominee trustee. So uh, what, what I will limit this um, description to is holding title to um, real estate, title to your business, whatever, whatever it may be. Um, we like to use either a revocable trust or a land trust to hold title. And when you use a trust, a trust requires um, a trustee and a beneficiary. Now, when you are identifying a trustee, that is the person or the entity that is that controls that trust asset for the beneficiary. So when you're choosing a trustee, 
um, you're choosing someone that you trust, a business partner that is going to act um, accordingly for the benefit of the beneficiary, mainly and likely to be you um, <clears throat> as the owner of your portfolio. Now, what we like to do is we like, uh, for, for two reasons, we like to set up um, or our clients like us to set up us as their law firm, as their attorney, as the nominee trustee that will go on title to their real estate um, so that any public record, any document that gets filed in the county, uh, in the county recorder's office identifies us as the trustee and protects, keeps your name out of the public record and makes it that much more difficult to find out who the true owner is. Now, the second thing that it does is, uh, in addition to the anonymity, is if the trust ever gets sued by a potential creditor for, for whatever reason, and they discover us as that nominee trustee, um, we created attorney-client privilege by acting as your trustee, and therefore we are not able to disclose any information related to the making of the trust, the trust asset, and so it gives you an additional layer of protection from creditors. Um, typically, and some people, uh, well, first of all, a lot of our clients love that setup and uh, you know provides massive benefit to them. However, some people prefer to have control of their own asset, which is perfectly fine as well. And doesn't that doesn't prevent us from setting up the trust acting as the nominee trustee. The only difference is once that document, whether it be a deed or something else gets recorded into the public record, we then, uh, as, as soon as that occurs and we get notification of that recording, we step down or we resign as that nominee trustee and you as the individual step in as the new trustee. And therefore you're then you have con full control of that trust asset for your own benefit. So I mentioned this as uh, using a series is far more cost effective and efficient. One setup costs, one maintenance fee. You're not paying for um, uh, fees for every single LLC, which can add up quite quickly and it gives you infinite scalability. The, really, the most of the work is on the front end in setting up uh, the structure itself and the operating agreement. And then after that, anything that gets added, any property that gets added is as simple as adding a, a line to your operating agreement to just identify that new property. So um, as I mentioned, I mean, I have some different, uh, like, like who benefits, there's different people or I guess segments of the market that can benefit from using a series. Um, but what I will say is we primarily recommend this for real estate investors of both single family and commercial properties that are that own and are leasing those properties out. So this is a general um, structure of what it looks like. Obviously, this is just a skeleton uh, illustration of what it looks like. So <clears throat> over here on the right side this is our series this would be our parent company and that parent company is owned by an anonymous trust that is an additional layer of protection um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah an additional layer of protection that makes it that much more difficult to discover who the owner is and that parent then identifies in its operating agreement each individual series. So we have series one, two, three, though series one, two, three would be identified in the operating agreement for this parent company. Now, assuming these were rental properties, how we would recommend holding title to those rental properties is using a land trust. And this last line right here, where you see deed one, two, and three on the deed, what you would see is the name of the land trust which we typically recommend naming the land trust with some, um, some relation to the property that you own. So if it's one, two, three main street for number one here, 
um, it would, the name of the land trust could be called one, two, three main street trust. And so then the deed, assuming you had a nominee trustee, that was say your attorney law firm, us, a nominee trustee, let's say it's, uh, let's say it's our law firm, the trust, the deed that gets recorded would read, um, you know, seller owner conveys property to the KB law firm as trustee of one, two, three main street trust. Mm -hmm. And so you would not appear, there would be no, um, basically there would be no connection to you in any of the public records, um, related to these, uh, related to this property. So if you have any questions about this, if you're a real estate investor and uh, you are, you'd be interested in setting up a structure like this, contact uh, me or, or um, my closing manager, my go-to assistant, Ellie. Uh, we can be reached at info at kurtbeckerlaw.com. And we have tons of informational materials up on our Facebook page at Kurt Becker Law. Our Instagram page is the KB Law Firm, and we're putting out new information every day. And a lot of our clients are 